While the world economy collapses and the U.S. cracks down on civil rights protesters all across the United States, American occupation soldiers were being targeted inside Syria. The Syrian news agency Sana reported that a joint convoy of U.S. forces and Kurdish SDF known as Qasad in Arabic was attacked by unknown assailants with machine guns and RPGs in the Rawayshid village junction on the administrative boundary between the Syrian governorates of Hasake and Deir Zor. The eight injured were taken to the headquarters of the American base in the city of Shaddadi, south of Hasake. Yep, that's an illegal American military base inside Syria. This was not the first incident of its kind. An American officer and two SDF fighters were killed on the 27th of last month with an ambush carried out by similar unknown assailants against a patrol of American soldiers at the village of Waseya in Deir Zor countryside. Separately, Sana reported that the U.S. forces brought in military and logistic supplies from Iraq into Syria last week, including Patriot air defense systems, which could become the spark that ignites the area. The U.S.-led coalition denied the media reports about transferring their Patriot air defense systems to Syria, claiming they transported additional equipment and towers for mobile communications to their bases in Hasake Governorate. It's worth noting that the United States controls several bases in northeastern and eastern Syria, particularly in areas controlled by the SDF. The Syrian government has for long accused Washington of violating the Syrian sovereignty, urging the international community to pressure the United States to withdraw its troops from Syria. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, Amar Osman.